Good evening. Stop! People of the Imperial City, welcome to an Oblivion Let's Play! Hey, what's going on? All right, here we are. We're gonna try and do a Let's Play of Oblivion. It's been crazy trying to set this up. We don't know anything about this. This is like our third try. Yes, our third try. We got it. We, <laughs> we got a really good deal on the Elgato um, yesterday for seventy-five dollars on Amazon. They're supposed to arrive yesterday. Never came. I think it's locked in our mailbox. Then we went to Best Buy. Was it Best Buy or GameStop? GameStop. Best Buy. Or GameStop. Yeah, we, we went, went to Best Buy. They didn't have it. GameStop. One hundred and fifty. Two hundred. So, R.I.P. my wallet. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> It'll be worth it. For Oblivion. I was born 87 years ago. For 65 years, I've ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, I've never been the ruler of my own dreams. I have seen the gates of oblivion, beyond which no waking eye may see. Behold, in darkness, a doom sweeps the Very Lord of the Rings. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Saruman's eye. Saruman's eye. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sigil stone. Some dinosaurs. A sigil stone and some dinosaurs? Here it is. The aerial view you were talking about. This is the 27th of last seed, the year of Akatosh, 433. <laughs> These are the closing days of the third era, and the final hours of my life. I was just telling Emmett uh, when we were playing this earlier how much I love this intro to this game. I mean, if you've never played this game before, if this was your first time playing it, what, 2004 did you yeah, say it came yeah. out? And you, you heard that and you saw the intro, you already get a sense of like a, a deeply textured world that's been created with like a cursed king and like a, you know, like a, an intricate timekeeping system maybe based on the gods or, or whatever sort of mythology they have. And it's just so richly textured from the beginning, you, you know you're in for something good. Definitely. Right now, it's, it's, it's such a gorgeous shot overall. When you get into it, when you start looking at specific areas, it looks like a, a civilization revolution map. <laughs> <laughs> sort of blank dirt texture that fades into the water. <laughs> well, just don't look that okay, closely, yeah. I guess. No need to look over there. The Imperial. Infamous Oblivion customization, <laughs> where you can only go down from here if you try to mess with his facial yeah. features too much. Never done the, the headband one. It's very like Imperial Guard. I feel like they all have that under their helmet. Uh, you could be an old man. One of those monks? Yeah. You could be an old man. It's a special kind of person who freely chooses the balding Imperial <laughs> as like a character to emulate <laughs> them. <laughs> Brown eyes. Like, I, I could be anything I want in this fantasy world. I think I'll be a middle aged balding <laughs> man. <laughs> Oldman. <laughs> Gary Oldman. <laughs> Gary Oldman. <clears throat> Did you say Harry Oldman? Harry Oldman. <laughs> this game stars Harry Oldman. Yeah, I play as, as Harry Oldman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The one from Very The nice. Emperor's Dreams, right there. Oh, look. An Imperial in the Imperial Prison. I guess they don't play favorites, huh? Your own kinsmen think you're a piece of human trash. I always think he's going to say a piece of shit there for some reason. <laughs> Your own kinsmen think you're a piece of shit. <laughs> you're going to die in here, Imperial. You're going to die. Imperial criminal scum like you give the Empire a bad name, you see. You're an embarrassment. Best if you just disappear. 
Hey, you hear that? I really... The guards are coming. For you. <laughs> yeah. For you. For you. <laughs> Please, sire, we must keep moving. Better not close this one. There's no way to open it from the other side. Now your prisoner is kicking himself because he didn't know there was a secret passage there the whole time. Close up left. Protect okay. the Emperor. These guys are, these guys are the captain's down. <laughs> Revan? What's her name? Uh, oh, that's a Reynolds. Star Reynolds. I'm, Reynolds. I'm mixing up Star Wars Revan. because so much of this reminds <laughs> me of Star Wars. Yeah. Uh, no, it will be. <laughs> Ready your fists. <laughs> <laughs> the rat flies off the side of the wall. So, like, I wish there was a little bit of a, more of a variety of enemies in the beginning. Yeah. You guys kind of get like, okay, rat, rat, rat. Right, I think that's one of the things you mentioned to me yeah. about Skyrim is better. You've got, in the caves, you've got, you know, Falmer, um, Skeevers, which I guess are the same thing as rats. I don't know why they call them Skeevers in Skyrim instead. <laughs> and those, um, what do you get the Chitin from? The, oh, you know the what I'm Chitaris Chitin. Yeah. <laughs> the Charis, the Charis, or whatever. Whatever it is. Chitin. Chitaris Chitin. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know how to pronounce that. Chitin Chitin? Ooh. I've never encountered that Triton word before. Better. Yeah, Chitin sounds better. <laughs> Fine with me. And another thing I think we talked about is how um, the go you know there's goblins in this game, which are very run of the mill, high fantasy enemies. Yeah. Um, sort of a just a blank slate kind of go to enemy, uh, but they're replaced with the Falmer later on in Skyrim, which is I thought like a really great development because it adds a uh, more interest to the game because they they're like a fallen elf kind of character. Yeah. 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 There's so much going on. Everything, nothing's random. Everything has has a backstory. Right. Yeah. Everything's it's like Star Wars. So, you know, as soon as there's one character on screen for half a second in Star Wars, suddenly he has a whole life story. Yeah. I feel like this is very similar in a way. Uh, it's more which is good. Yeah. Yeah. And you spend more time with it than a movie, so it's more right. important. And I mean, just to touch on something even broader, I mean, like video games are more interactive than movies in the first place. So <laughs> it's all the more crucial for that reason. But I do, I do like how in this in this game there's a there's a, a story and a lot of creativity behind every single quest, even all the side quests. And uh, Fallout Fallout Four is notorious for having uh, there's one faction called the Minutemen, and you <laughs> there's sort of an infinite regurgitated quest. <laughs> with the, with anyway within the minute man. I, I should do that to you in the middle of <laughs> something you're trying to say. <laughs> anyway, there's a quest. <laughs> That's Boris's battle cry. <laughs> they come on. All right. Um. Anyway, there's multiple set. You can. What's cool about Fallout 4 is that you can. Um, own settlements if there's like a small group of people that are trying to get by you help them out they're like right. okay we'll yeah. work with you and then you can actually there's sort of a building aspect of the game you can sort of you can build buildings and stuff in that settlement so there's a lot you spend a lot of time on Fallout 4 even more than their past games like Oblivion and Sky right. and everything um, but when, when you're with the Minutemen those settlements constantly get attacked and it's always just like a few raiders and so the same you guy well Preston useful. Oh, gosh. the same character Preston will always have a new quest. Hey, this settlement is getting attacked. Mm -hmm. So, and I like I like that sense of completion. I like it when there's a point where the game is completely closed and it's over with. But with Fallout 4, you can be done with everything and then still have settlements to protect. And I don't, sure. I don't really like that. That kind of bugs me in a way. Like it's just a tedious afterthought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's just not fun. Um... The Emperor's in danger. But I do I do tend to. I mean, I'm incredibly excited for the next Elder Scrolls, and I'm always, I'll always be more excited for an Elder Scrolls and a Fallout. Because Me too. After a while, that Fallout world just gets to you. <laughs> you don't want to play. The bleakness of yeah, it. It's yeah, just war-torn desert. Sure, I mean, th good. there's bleakness to all of these worlds. I mean, yeah, yeah. There, there is something, like, peaceful and... and... <laughs> there's something peaceful... <laughs> <laughs> There's something like you know peaceful and beautiful about being uh, in Cyrodiil and the White Gold Tower and everything, but you know I mean Skyrim. Like I got 
kind of tired of clearing out Draugr from the caves. Yeah, even crits. Skyrim was a little gray for it, me. Well, like, yeah, it was, little, it was yeah. the northernmost yeah. part of, you know, the map there, so. Yeah. I wanted it to look more like How to Train Your Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But yeah, and we were just talking about earlier about how, Hold just, like, the whole like overworld is this beautiful a pastoral scene, and although the greens are so vibrant, and it just, mm -hmm. it looks like a painting. Yeah. And it's beautiful to walk around in. Um, but it's more of an abstract beauty. Like when you get in, you know, so many gamers are obsessed with, you know, every leaf has to look like a leaf. Right. And I'm leaning more towards, I mean, Fallout 4 pulls it off well, but a lot of games just look messy when they try to be incredibly detailed. Sure, because you take too a, much going on. You take yeah. a step back and you look and then there's just so much detail in the frame. It sort right. of crowds yeah. everything over. Yeah. But I know what you mean, like when the you take a step back. I mean, you can't side. tell right now we're in the cave, we're in the we're dungeon the still, side. but... Yeah. Once we walk job. out into the overworld here, you'll you'll see what we mean again. Yeah. The sort of abstract beauty of the yeah, the... and that's also why I was mentioning before, the opening to Oblivion got a lot of hate because it was so dull and dark and right. It's a dead but end. what's your call? Sir? I mean, the whole point Happy is that it, <laughs> the whole point is that you sort of babied through it, so to to give you the basics, and there's so much more to the game after this, but. Right. Uh, it's trying to give you, like it literally walks you through in that when you, in that room when you first get the bow, it says try to hit the bucket next to the well. So like it's, it's really specifically trying to help right. you through. And this is, I mean, this prison or this uh, sewer network, whatever it is, is the perfect enclosed area to uh, sort of run you through everything. Sure. Yeah. No, I think it's appropriate that they sort of hold your yeah. hand for the first few steps and then and then like let you out into the world, maybe point you in the right direction and then like let, let you figure the rest out for yourself. Because right. it's an open world game after yeah, all, yeah, yeah. right? So. <laughs> chose a bad day. Take them down. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd think the emperor wanted to die right there. <laughs> that was absolutely pathetic. No. Talos. No. Talos. We failed. Those beady little Yeah, they're eyes. scary. The lighting is really weird in this. Yeah, it is. Every body part has different kind of lighting going on. Like we were talking about earlier, the ears look like they yeah, the de ears detached are... from your head. <laughs> I thought so. Okay. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. I agree. Good. I should have said no. Was... Please explain more. I never clicked that. <laughs> never? <laughs> no. <laughs> I never want to hear more about Joffrey, yeah. okay? Just do what I need the to do. The amulet of kings, this cannot be. Only the king, mate. <laughs> the audience could be the Will, my friend Will, who introduced me to this game back when I was in like fourth grade, played as an Argonian. Is I I know few people who play as non-human characters. You know, I don't really trust people who play as Argonians. No <laughs> offense to you, people who identify with lizards out there. Yeah. I think it would just bug me to play as a lizard for the rest of the game. Especially in, in Skyrim, like, you're the dragonborn. It's right, supposed right, to be yeah, this... Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. It's so Nordic, like, it's supposed yeah. to be sort of Icelandic, you know, yeah. in Skyrim. And then you're almost. a fucking lizard. And you're, yeah, you're a lizard. <laughs> or a Khajiit. <laughs> Khajiit has wares to sell. Hissing at the... Oh yeah, hissing at the, the dragon. Dragons. How noble and heroic. <laughs> Perfectly Germanic to hiss as a cat at oh, the man. dragons. Who's still? There's an enemy somewhere. Are there any like noble Argonians in this game? I can't remember because I remember like in um, the town of Solitude in Skyrim. I remember a lot of like sort of cutthroat, slimy. <laughs> they're Back, all backhanded Argonians. Yeah, no, yeah, they're all they're all like that. Um, they make them stereotypes of their own yeah, race. Yeah, which the game. is good. I mean, it's, it makes it more. It's cool to have attributes for each race. Sure. Um, it's cool to have a culture for each race. And yeah. Sort of... What's happening? What is the slaughterfish that was usually there? Yeah. Is it's it stuck, attacking I was you? stuck in the dirt. It's never happened to me before. <clears throat> um. But yeah, the uh, there's Argonians in the Dark Brotherhood quest line. Yeah, I and they're just that. trying to like off each other. There's a quest where you have to go kill one of their friends or something because they don't like him anymore. Like there's sort of no loyalty. Yeah, yeah. And then they're in the Fighters Guild quest. There's uh, they're called the Blackwater Company. They're like the 
Um, they're competing with the Fighters Guild, and they use Hist Sap that makes you hallucinate. Mm, I remember yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they're all just very slimy. Is it in the lore, is it the Hist tree that they worship? That I think the Argonians worship some sort of tree. Right, 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 yeah. yeah. And they bring one in, and then at the end of the Fighters Guild, they have to burn it down. Mm -hmm. Speaking, yeah, speaking of like the lore behind this stuff, I was mentioning earlier how that Oblivion booklet that you had that came with the did it, it didn't come with the, the game. Pocket Guide to the Empire. Pocket it came with Guide the special to the Empire. Edition, yeah. So cool. You know, little stories and yeah, yeah mythos behind everything. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Well, this cannot be. No one but the Emperor is permitted <laughs> to handle be. the amulet. Let me see it. By the nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Kvatch. He was, Max was correcting me because I was calling it Kvatch. Kvatch. And I, it's Kvatch. You remember me as Kvatch. Kvatch. They, they, they almost don't want to say that word <laughs> when they mention it. <laughs> oh, the hero of Kvatch. Back on Tatooine. Yeah, oh man. Who said that in the Star Wars Luke, movie? Said Luke said Tatooine. Ta 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 Tatooine. Tatooine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kvatch and Tatooine. Kvatch and Tatooine. Come run. on, run while there's still time. My the guard no. still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. You're listening. I don't but remember man, him being this golden. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last Deidre. night. Deidre. <laughs> there were glowing portals outside the walls. It's like a gates to a middle-aged woman's itself. name. There it's was that a Deidre, huge right? creature. Deidre, right? <laughs> Something. <laughs> Deidre overrun Kvatch. Deidre Someone overrun Kvatch. They can hold the road. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run when you can! <laughs> <laughs> There's something so great about the expressionless face and the overactive voice that just bears... It's pure oblivion, like it's pure Elder Scrolls. <laughs> run, run, run when can. you can! He's kind of looking to the side. <laughs> run, run when you can! It's terrifying. It is. Yeah, it's uncanny. Here we go. Here's this, the famous sky. Oh, the sky. I love this. It looks like... At first, it looks like the sun is setting, and then you can see that there's sort of... Yeah. ...patterns throughout the clouds. The world is breaking through. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Yeah. It becomes more sinister as you go closer to the gate. Yeah. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. We lost the damn city. That's what happened. Smiling. Some That's what happened. Back, that. But others were just run down in the streets. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. That damned. Ab it's blocking the way. We can't get back into the city. <laughs> <laughs> we can't go around it. The uh, the sky looks so bad. Last time we were playing it, we'll probably show it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, a, a character tried to talk to you, and it like engaged that face zoom in <laughs> thing, and then the sky zoomed in at the yeah. same time, and it became like really, you know, 240p quality, just awful. <laughs> Thank the nine. Oh, I never thought I'd see another friendly face. <laughs> the others taken. They were taken to the tower. <laughs> Captain Matty has sent us in. It looks like the, the ceiling and like a laser tag. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> looks good now though. I mean... <laughs> Let's see if this happens again. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Are you serious? Yeah. How did that happen? I'm Put on on. Some... Look at what you're wearing. <laughs> I forgot to get assistance. You're wearing, you're wearing capris. <laughs> 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 Like a breeze, and you call him that, it ruins it. I had nothing else to wear to the gates of oblivion. Where are you going? Oh. See the inside of the thing. Oh, it's a dead body! That's Whoa. disgusting. You've never looked in there I've before. I've never noticed you? that before. What the f fleshy pot? I guess that makes sense. I mean, can you, you. That's grotesque. Why would they animate a rotting corpse within that thing that you can only see by glitching through it like that? It's very like something from Alien. Yeah, it is. Stamps. 
They really are tougher than they look. Fuck. <laughs> I said it the perfect time, I guess. <laughs> Old man, level one. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go to another a, a better character. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I died in my capris. <laughs> hell. Old man died in his capris at level one. R.I.P. <laughs> Pathetic. As you can tell, I was used to uh, playing Oblivion how it's supposed to be played. <laughs> is this how it's supposed, this to, be how it's supposed to be played? Now what we'll play is our greatest creation. Oh god, no! <laughs> With the, uh, this thing is painful the helmet to look at. that matches his head, his almost non-existent head. Is this the file where you killed like every guard in this palace? <laughs> yes. Then we're gonna wait for some more. This is what it's all about. Yeah, this is what Elder Scrolls yeah. is really about. You gotta slay the entire population. <laughs> you got to create a world where you're the last man standing. Besides Hieronymus. Hieronymus Lex in his underwear. <laughs> when I first played this game, I did pretty much every quest line except for the Thieves Guild. And then I just resorted to trying to kill everyone. <laughs> but Aronimus Lex is an integral part of the Thieves Guild. So he never died. And he would chase hey, me on, across man. the whole map. You know, just knock him unconscious over and over again. And the armor gets blunt here on, like, in Skyrim, right? So, yeah. like... It, yeah, he would... Yeah! Yeah, that. the armor goes blunt. Well, so, like, he lost all his armor. He was chasing you he was in chasing his underwear. Naked. Yeah, yeah, Immortal yeah. Hieronymus right. Lex forever. <laughs> to the end of the earth. <laughs> Yeah! I, re I That's something I vividly remember. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. Right up, man. Such violence. Am I supposed to be impressed? <laughs> Someone's been murdered! What's happening? No, it's just a guard. That's okay. Hey, come on now. There's no need to get violent. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Excuse me, are you alright? I... <laughs> what was that? He was taking the corpse. Help! Help! I'm being attacked! <laughs> help! Help! I'm... He was about to check the corpse <laughs> again. Stop! Sent you <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness, are you alright? I've never heard that one either. Me neither, but I mean, it's just so <laughs> jarring in the middle of combat. Like you're running after someone. Hey, get back! Oh my goodness, are you alright? Can I ask you a favor? What? You shooting fish in a barrel, I mean, they're like at the perfect... I think that still makes a clear wood hitting ground sound underwater. <laughs> well now, what do <laughs> it, we? It have? turned me so I can face by the gods. Yeah! The of... There he is! On my watch. Yay! He's the head of the guard, right? Yeah. <laughs> Was the head of the guard. Juicy cut sounds. <laughs> By the gods, there is a. <laughs> <laughs> By the gods, there is a. Stop! <laughs> oh, this is. Kajit. Kajit has wares if you have coin. <laughs> oh, <man. sighs> What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? By the nine divines! Assault by the gods, there's a psychopath on the loot. What's going on? Such violence. This is the. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Getting the official, um, <laughs> Cyrodiil Marathon. Y'all run around the white gold tower. Someone's been murdered! Man down! You're pathetic. Do you? I fought. 
tons of guards. You drew him out, finally. We're on his legs. Really get him. Here he comes. Help! Murder! Oh, the peaceful theme is back. <laughs> Ready to eat my poison fruit. Here we go. He's getting up. Hey, come on now. There's no need to get. I love that shifty run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting and stopping. Uncomfortable. Lex is unconscious. Usually, he, sometimes he flies forward. It's terrifying. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Falls back and just sort of <laughs> catapults into you. Like this, uh, unlike, unlike Skyrim where there's different holds, you have the same bounty for everywhere. So if I go to, like, this is right next to a city. Right. So there's the like city. a West Mar what was it West March? Yeah. East March? I don't know. I remember there. Were, yeah, yeah, I know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, like, is one of them. The, the the bounties are local. Yeah, yeah. So it happens. Like, Why do you bother me? Go away. So, I think I think that says something. Maybe maybe that's just a game difference that they decided upon. But I think that says something about the difference between like Cyrodiil, which is the capital of the empire, and something like Skyrim, which is like a northern. Sort of That's interesting. Yeah, it's an like it's point. a different style of government, right? Because yeah. there's a civil war going on there. In the first I'm place. Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Government would be more futile. Oh, those expressions <laughs> flying by at the speed <laughs> of light. <laughs> he hates me so much. He's a very bounty. Because I was always that. If you have a record at all, most... then they'll sneer at you. Yeah, unless you're like in the thieves' guild or the dark brotherhood, everyone hates you. Like someone you've never met before. <laughs> I've heard of your bounty, citizen. <laughs> your presence is not welcome here. Yeah, that's the other thing that bugged me. It made me feel so bad when I was doing Knights of the Nine. I did one Dark Brotherhood quest, <laughs> and everyone knew that I had been like sacrilegious. <laughs> everyone I talked to said, I used to think you were a hero. Oh. I did like this, this really like secretive Dark Brotherhood assassination. No one should have known. But every every single person I talked to, even even some like Dark Brotherhood members, <laughs> I used to think you were a and hero. so you're made to feel like this this horrible mm -hmm. person for the rest of the, because you did something like sneaky like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. This guy. Let's kill this guy. What's going on? <laughs> Am I supposed to be in Someone's yeah. been murdered! Yeah. We got every race. Okay. Run away! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> I've never heard that <laughs> trilled R. <laughs> way over the top. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt me. Somebody, like, on quality control for this game, <laughs> listened to that audio file and approved it. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's con that's convincing. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Let's get that acrobatic skill up. Get that up. acrobatic skill up. Restoration. <laughs> <laughs> Casting restoration in midair looks so, uh... Comically hey, come on graceful. Now. There's no need to get my Wow, that was really diplomatic sounding. <laughs> Am I supposed to be in <laughs> I'm getting out of here. 